So behind me is the airlocks. Um, it is built to be that second barrier, that anti-chamber, the doffing chamber that's required in mold and asbestos remediation. Um, currently it's being done with poles and plastic and tape and spray adhesive and spray foam and all these different things that come with a lot of problems. Um, it takes a long time to build. Um, when done properly, they're pretty reliable, but a lot of times they're not being done properly, either because of inexperience or maybe just laziness, not always being done right. Uh, the good thing about this is it's very foolproof. Um, you set it up essentially with a vacuum cleaner and an air mover uh, or a HEPA filter, right? Because you're creating negative air in most cases, you're creating a negative air environment. So this is the doffing chamber. This is a transition space from dirty to clean. And it's a requirement for any type of mold and asbestos remediation. And so we provided a much easier, faster, less labor intensive, reusable um, type of platform to do it. And it's part of a larger ecosystem. We do, I mean, our tagline, our, we are air walls by Zeppelin containment from A to Z because we can contain under your house, over your house, in your house, doorways, walls. Um, one of the really kind of amazing parts of this airlocks is we constructed it using separate components that can be used separately. Uh, the unit behind me here is the Airwall X. That's for blocking off a doorway and creating negative containment in just a matter of a few minutes. The walls of it, either side, kind of hard to see, um, but they are individual walls in themselves and when removed from the airlocks itself can be zipped together along with others if need be for as many linear feet as you need to create a barrier in a room that literally goes up. Each one takes about a minute and a half to fill and then you place it. This is only one of the configurations for the airlocks. We're using it with an X because in this show we wanted to show people what we're doing. But if people choose, there is a double zippered curtain option. Um, the back of this unit is a zipper curtain. The advantages are, are just manifold. I mean, I've said it before that for me, the thing that get, got me out of bed in the morning when we were in the depths of COVID and we're trying to stay busy, keep innovating, you know, and get the products that we launched here two years ago, get them out into the market. What got me out of bed in the morning and, and motivated me was the, the, the ecological aspect of it. Um, there's a lot of virgin plastic that is being thrown away right now that I don't want to see it thrown away anymore. And so by building a product that's mega durable, we actually take care of a lot of that. We used the highest quality materials we could find. The most expensive zippers, the most expensive materials that are UV resistant. This didn't need to be UV resistant, but I made it UV resistant. So and now you can actually set this up outside. We've actually built an air chamber, that, the, the doffing chamber, that could be put outside. So now the UV actually could be a factor, but it wasn't our original thought. I just wanted something that was gonna last. So when someone gets this equipment, yes, it's more expensive than plastic, but the money that they save on labor, and then after that, maybe six or seven uses, it's all going into the positive. You're talking about a four hour construction down to 30 minutes. It's just so much easier. The, besides just the, the green aspect, right, is the, the, the hygienic aspect, right? There is a perfect way to build containment. And there's a lot of people in this room that can do that. But they're not. Their crews are, right? And that's the nature of anything. You know, you always say, I wish I had 100 of me. Or if you have a really great employee or two, you think, oh, I wish I could clone you, right? Because you're amazing. Well, a lot of us are forced to deal with not those people. And maybe they're not doing everything exactly right. This takes a lot of the error aspect out of it because you don't have to be specialized. You don't have to know what kind of tape to use, how many layers, when to use staples and spray adhesive and all the rest. You don't need to know. We took care of that for you. We made it simple. We made it easy to use. So that was kind of, you know, those, those things are what we really feel are our market advantage. It's why we feel that this is the future of restoration. It's right on my, it's right on my doormat. Welcome to the future of restoration.